three. Wow, man. I think somebody dosed me some with some acid, dude. I was really tripping, man, but it turns out it was just my glasses, man. It had splatter on them. That's what it was. It's psychedelic, dude. Wow. Psychedelic. You see? No. You see? I see nothing. Vince didn't recall. <laughs> I love it. Uh, hey, what are we doing today? This is a, is this considered a dork table? Yeah, it's always Duke a dork, dork table. Always a dork and table. Sometimes so. some are dorkier than others. Oh, let's say derpy de derp then. Well, then you go right ahead. And you know my fa my favorite's the RLM. What can I say? I'm prejudiced. I'm a racist. I'm an e racist, just like I thought. Ooh. And anyway, Vin saying. Vincent, it's Vincent this week helping me out on the dork table. This yeah, Vincent Recall. It was Vinny C. Vinny C. But hey, what about that, Freppy? That's pretty and, good. And we're passing our judgment of the world on the world famous reallibertymedia.com. That's where we're at. <laughs> hey, I'm yep. learning. I'm I'm getting shit together here. Don't only takes a few years. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well yeah. say hi to all the people and all that. <laughs> Hi, all the people. And then after that, we'll tell them why we kidnapped them. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Frumpy. I'm now Vincent Recall. I like uh, that. Very ah. good. Who thought of that one? You? <laughs> that, was, that was Frumpy. Frumpy. Hey, Vincent. <laughs> Distant. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start playing off that. Okay, say hi to the people, Vincent. Hi, people. And, of course, we start with Barman. He's a, uh, yeah, he's our slave robot, but I always thank him now and then. Brings his things. And there's the, the great mighty Grimner. He, he awesome. Grim, he's the guy Grim the, Nerdo to the Mexicans. Grim Nerdo. Yeah, he's a guy that washes dishes around here on reallibertymedia.com. Uh, follow the cups. What? And he fills the coffee cups. Oh, that's always good, yeah. So, Bring you some, some dubilation and some uh, <laughs> celebration. Some liquid refreshment in your cup. Hmm. Ah. There's the Mighty Moose Girl following up. Hey, Moose. Moose. And Kate. She's a uh, kick-ass plot killer. Hello, Miss Kate. Hi, Kate. Wh who's Phantom? Phantom. Yeah, does Phan he ever talk? Phantom is the one that did the recording thing for Miss Mary's rocket chair program. No way, really. That's pretty good. Way to go, Phantom. Ah, and well, now you know. He's the Phantom? Phantom. He's scary. How about this guy? This Flatlander. Anti. And Hi. I don't know. Could be one of those Russian bots that we hear about on the RLM. Anti's in chat, right? Now. <laughs> it's probably just a Rus Russian bot anyway. I think you're a Russian bot, but what do I know? <laughs> well, Perestroika and all that, you know? Hey, man, after the third hit, everybody's a Russian bot. <laughs> Paranoia level hits twelve. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> ding dong. There's a there's a Beware. asmo. Asmo asmo's hanging in here. And Chalcedoni. Hey, Chalcedoni. Oh, the and Chloe. Miss Chloe. All the smart people are gathering. Oh, and Colfax one oh one. Yes, Colfax one oh one. And we have a study in Cyber Noodle. Hey, Hello. Pox. Uh, yes. That's in Pox, D.C. Pox is that's uh, yeah, not from the District of Columbia, but that'd no, be that Don. would be Don C. I, yeah. I, yeah, he tried to sneak in here with that one, but I caught him. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, that was an easy one, huh? Oh, hey, it's still. Dakota. I figured it out. Give me a break. Uh, it's not. And there's the, and there's Dakota uh, from Arizona. No, just kidding. <laughs> well, Dakota. Do you know the meaning of it? Echelon. The definition of the word? Yeah, echelon. No, you go ahead and define it for us. Oh, well, no, the only reason I'm asking is because echelon is right on top of you. Flash somebody. That's right. 
because uh -oh. F is always after E except after me. Well, well, well which leads us to our mighty Einstein uh, Frumpy. Uh, frumpy, hail Frumpy, king of the one-liner. Incredible Einstein Frumpulation. And he's on top of Grant's. Get off her, boy! Uh, hi, Gramsy. Well, you, 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 you get that shit all in your head, man. It's just words on a screen. Relax. Okay. Okay. All right. I see hey, the... Hey, Grammy! Hi, uh, uh, Grammy. Don. He's very... Yeah, I be these. I, I see... Yeah. I, I do Java, see... Uh, I be uh, Don C again. Yeah. There's all, ki all kinds of people on the RLM. There is. There's Java Doctor. Hey, Java. Java. And JJ's nines from... Uh, JJ's nines, J. He's what on an island time. way over there in the Atlantic Ocean, close to Europe. Yeah, it's right north of it, pretty much. Yeah. Yep. But, but we not can't Ireland, say European, either. right? Well, you can say it, but the people that live there don't say it. No, you're you're not European. Well, it's the same thing as uh, if you lived in Chicago, and somebody said that you you're from Florida, but you're from Chicago, well, it matters to the person that lives in the city. Okay. Well, want a taco? But I don't give a fuck. Want a taco? That, oh, sound, that sounds Mexican to me for some reason. Almost. Almost. Juanita. But, How about a box of pop? Pox know. box, poxified, poxophone, pox of home pond sauce fill out the bottom. Passed right by Kozu. No, I said Kozu. Did you? And, yeah, but you I didn't say Gazunite. Must not have been listening to you. Gazunite. Ah, uh, oh, you're doing your impression of Mary this week. I get it now. <laughs> That's where uh, hey, you, we do two different shows Wait, at the exact okay. same time. Give, give me a line to say, and I'll I'll do my impersonation of Miss Mary. Oh, uh, give you a line to say? Yeah, <laughs> something yes. that Mary would say. <laughs> something that Mary would say. Hmm. Yes. What? We can even add the quote. Wow. What's that Southern Bell shit? She says, uh, "Bless my heart," or something. No. Yeah, bless my yeah, bless she your says, heart. Yeah. I wish you enough. Yeah, she says that too at the end though. Yeah. Like rain. I I wish you enough rain and there's rain in the chat. Uh, Followed by the flu. Miss Vanna White. I mean uh, RLM flu. I will get the flu someday. What well, what do you have to say about our flu? Yum. Yum. Our flute, our flute. There's a song like that or something. No more about the flute. Rob works. Hey, hey Rob. The bubbler. Scuba. <laughs> Fire up the bubbler. Yeah. Mm. There's a, there's the cook right there. Sock puppet. Whoa. Where'd he go? Where? Hey. Yeah. Get your hand out of there. Wake up. Skittles. Skittles. Like Skittles. Ah, that's, I think that's uh, um, Pox's toy. Uh oh. And then we got trust number one, Mr. Liberal Democrat. Oh, he is a, yeah. He's a liberal Democrat? Yeah, I think so. He's pretty I thought adamant that was, about it. Hmm? I thought that was, uh, I thought that was Rob Works. <laughs> Oh, wait, Don't I'm start. sorry, Woody. It's Woody, yeah. right? Oh. Nice to yeah, brow. No, actually, uh, the way I read Woody, Woody is a Democrat, but he's disgusted with his party. <clears throat> Thinks they're a bunch Man. of sellouts. So I, all I can say is, yeah, know, he's not more a, balloons, but Woody's more not a Republican, but he he's not pleased either. Yeah, that's the kind of party I like. Balloons, balloons keg of beer. Keg of beer. What do you do yeah. with the balloons? Tie notes on them and let them go. Oh, wow. Just in case aliens come to visit us? No. No? No. 
the aliens, the aliens, aliens are already here, and uh, they're living the American dream. Oh, yeah. Oh, those aliens. Ha, ha, ha. You're a funny guy. You snuck that right in there. <laughs> oh, I... No. Yeah, you're very sneaky. I'm going to have to, like, pay attention here so you don't get sneakier. Hey, Rob said, uh, Graham said that, uh, what Frank Zappa said. What? Go, go to the library. Is that what Graham said? Go to the library? Yeah. Yeah, Frank Zappa said it, and Graham's added it. And... Oh. If you want to get laid, yeah. go to college. Well, if I want to get laid, I just go upstairs. Oh, <laughs> God, get it now. <laughs> I didn't go to college. Well, you're not a chicken either. Not yet, no. Chickens like, just you know, all be, chickens get laid. Where we have evolution working against us. Hey, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Yes. <sighs> Okay. I'm glad so, you brought that up. <laughs> if I was playing the player and it would play, do you realize? Would you listen to that? What I was doing earlier, that would have to go on forever and ever and ever and ever. Well, I and don't ever. know what you're and talking. Ever. No, I don't have a clue. Vincent Recall. Oh. That was my broadcast today. No, I was busy doing shit in my life over here. I did not catch your broadcast. Oh, well, it was just uh, Grimner getting me set up to be able to uh, come to air again. Right, but I did go over and turn it on, and I found nothing, so I went back to what I was doing. What were you doing? Playing video games on the computer. Um, you know, the important stuff that goes on in, you know, in F Flash Co. I make all the big decisions based on my day on the video games. <laughs> What kind anyway. of video games do you like to play? This is kind of a, like a perception of reality. Uh, uh, I you like, play zombie no, uh, or first shooter games? No, or no, no, no. I like Zelda. My, my favorite Mario. One, nah, my favorite one is <laughs> this little maze game. Maze. It's, they had, yeah. So you grow corn? No, it's got patterns and colors and little. Is it a, a maze? Maze? Is it as amazing? Is it? Tell me. No, it's Use just me. a maze. Not amazing, but a maze. <laughs> Not made out of maze. No, nothing's made out of maze, unless you work for Monsanto. Everything's made out of corn these hey, days. Do you ever go along with the official story from the film? Yes, all name, the time. Name one. One. What's your favorite one? Um, uh, Elvis and Bigfoot are secret lovers. Oh um, yeah, they're in Ar back in the they're in 70s. Argentina. Yeah, they're yeah they're living in Argentina now. Yeah, <laughs> is that a that's not an official story? It's not. Well, what's your your favorite official government story? Not Elvis. Mm, golly, there's so many. Well, um, all right, pick one. It doesn't have to be a the number one, but out of whatever you think of, uh, what strikes you the most bizarrely? That the government is here to help us. Hmm. Somebody At, said in chat earlier today that uh, uh, yeah. government. Oh, it was sock puppet. He said, uh, uh, you know, government today is not what it you know was meant to be. It's it's. Oh no! It's, it's absolutely come not. to a, come yeah. to a, what it is over time, and people have uh, uh, gone in and occupied all these seats of decision, and uh, they're not on our side. No, and some of them are my people on my Jew side. <sighs> you misspelled maze. I did? No. Oh, okay. Well, some of your enemies are my relatives. Now what do we do? Uh, <laughs> we, dude. <laughs> dude. 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 Hmm. Bigfoot is Elvis. Ah. Well, I was listening to uh, um, Rob. He posted one uh, up there on the government corruption and Hillary Clinton and the uh, the death, uh, the kill list. Oh, yeah. The, it's it's uh, three digits. Yeah. 116. Can so you I got imagine? down to the last uh, five minutes before we come up to airtime. Yeah. Can oh. you imagine? You wouldn't get to two before you were sitting in jail somewhere. This woman's got like three numbers. Wow, I think I'm I think I'm jealous. 
I so, think I've yeah. been mad at 116 people, but they're all still alive. <laughs> wow. Well, were they going to expose you, though? As what? I didn't do anything what? to anyone. Are you sure? Yep. Positive. Hey, you know how I can get, prove that, too, is I married Circle. So, you know. Guess what? What? This, this is a public service announcement. Now what? from the Buzz Beaver. Hey, it is cool. 420. 420. Ding, 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 ding. Mountain time. Smoke them if you got them, people. Yay. Hey. So, all right. We're, we're stuck in this uh, mob rule. The, the voter knows best bullshit. You're a mob. Uh, what, I'm a what? You're a mob. I'm a mob? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm too not? small to be a mob. A mob uh, of one. Well, no, then I got Cirque and Hannibal and the Doctor. So I'm a mob of four. Wait. Unless, unless you count her family and then it gets bigger. Oh, we, so, got, a, uh, we got a baby in, in the works, in the family. Okay. Hannah's pregnant? No, no, and one of uh, Cirque's cousins is um, having a christening for a newborn child. Is already born? I would assume. I'm not sure. She said something about it earlier, and I've been playing video games, not paying attention to shit. <clears throat> so, hmm. But the point still remains that the family is getting bigger, not smaller. Bigger, not smaller. That's uh, that's an official story, isn't it? Well, yeah, because they, they're always complaining that the Danes aren't reprodu reproducing enough offspring, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, they are. They're doing fine. They're keeping the numbers down on purpose, I think. I don't think this place wants to grow. That is the impression I get. <laughs> You ever seen a possum with an impression? With a what? Impression. Of a an truck over, it, yeah, of a truck yeah. tire, yeah, a couple uh -huh. of times. Sure, an road impressed. kill. I hitchhiked across the United States more than once, mister, please. You know why the chicken crossed the road? Because it was, had your foot stuck up its ass and it was trying no, to get away. No, that's not silly. Oh, to no. show the possum it could be done. Oh, well, no, it can't be done. Maybe. I bet you can't do it. Are you uh are you reading twigs? Am I what? Reading twigs. I didn't even know what that means. Uh, <laughs> this is um or tw how do you pronounce this? T W I M G twing twing wing. I'm not sure, Vincent, but you Be sound... Be very, very quiet. I'm ah. on wings. There's the average no. Canadian circa 2022 colorized. <laughs> no, I, I try not to open the links up when I'm playing on the radio. Do uh, bad things do unicorns have been weenie? possible? Are do, you unic unic do, would only, you suspect they had weenie like a horse? Only in Scotland where they exist. Do... Uh, zebras, Winnie? I think they would. Why wouldn't they? Well, because of what do donkeys do? They bray. Yeah. Well, so donkeys aren't as similar to a horse as a zebra looks. So you no, a zebra. A zebra looks a lot like a donkey. Like a donkey. I think horse. a zebra looks more like a horse. See, it's how you see it. Uh, of course. Why are there's, you gonna? There's Hans are, Dredd, are you gonna look. Fuck, Honstrad. You're gonna start. That's your buddy. No, he's not. Are you gonna start yeah. running around riding a uh, a zebra? Why do you bring Hans? Handsome booty. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird how that worked out. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, pussy moosey. <laughs> ah, people are joining the. Cr They're joining the insanity that is all of you. All of you. Why not take off? I don't know. But name one official story that you seriously <laughs> believe the way that it was told to you. I can't, uh, I can't uh, do it. Um, You're the uh, American in this radio program. Come on. Show up. You, you tell me one that you think I should 
think about. I can't. Wait, which is your favorite? See, everybody wants to go to nine eleven, right? Do they? Nine eleven. What about? Well, you gotta say nine eleven was fucking phenomenal. What about Oklahoma City? Do you, you see what the Murray yeah, Building looked like? The yes. explosion. Yeah. Have you ever I, compared that to photographs of uh, uh, big bombs in uh, you know some of these Middle Eastern countries that uh, a boom? Yeah, but I, I saw both buildings, and the Twin Towers was a lot bigger. Way bigger. Whoa. Bigger is better, remember? Yeah, it paid off good for that Jew fucker, too. Uh, what was his name? Silverstein. Uh, the man was the luckiest guy in the entire world. Buys the place for nothing <laughs> and gets paid off for a double terror attack in you know, a few years later. It was quite the investment. And then they fought it out in court for a couple of years. But the funny thing about it, crime in general, is you get to do the crime before anybody can do anything about it. So the bigger the crime, the longer it's going to take to ever do anything about the crime you did. And this crime is so big, they'll be legally fucking dealing with it for 30, 40 years. Nah, probably longer than that. Or do well, you generally get about, what, 50 years or something before they I say, don't, oh, okay, we'll tell you something about JFK. Yeah, and then they don't tell you anything. That's that's one of the probably top But it's all over the stories internet. stories that don't watch, huh? Well, the stories, I guess the, the way I do it is I go with the story that makes the most sense depending on the results. Hey, here's one for you. One was just talking about uh, the Clinton uh all that stuff. Dan Lasseter is uh, is a friend of mine's uh, cousin. Let's just right down the road here. Dan, Dan Lasseter. Yeah. Man and when people, uh, yeah, when Yankees will, if they'll like call like them uh, telemarketing, they'll they'll pronounce it uh, Lasseter. Yeah, but you know who I like? Catfish. Me? Catfish, Cooley. You're kind of uh, like Catfish, but you're not quite Catfish. You're like Catfish Light. I've seen you talking about them, but I didn't go look at them. You should have, because Catfish knows the answers <laughs> to every, every subject, everything there is to know, he's got the answer for it. And and the weird thing is, he makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, what does he talk about? Is he a hillbilly? He is a... Toothless redneck hillbilly, something from where? I don't know. I don't know from a trailer park somewhere. Ozark, but so. he's he's just got his shit together. Sees the world the way he sees it and tells you what he sees. Fun guy. Say don't something ha- that, uh, that he said. He says that people like to fuck. You like copulate, reproduce that sort of thing, and when you. St- and then I, I take it too when you start breaking it down into separating into this group and that group's when you get all the trouble. Just, <clears throat> just say fuck everybody and don't be so particular. You know? Well, that that would be hard to do, isn't it? Nah, it would take about a week. <laughs> so now we're we're actually not talking literally. Well, you build an army. <laughs> okay. Never mind. An you take volunteers. We're gonna. Never mind. Uh, I think Moose Girl should be the suspect. Of what? I don't know. She wants to know who is the suspect. Who is the suspect? <laughs> Did you say know. whom? It's not I, whom. I was talking about... Um, of whom do you speak? Catfish having a, a really interesting outlook on the world from his little redneck perspective. And for the most part, I don't see where he's wrong. There's nothing to agree with. It's just the way he sees it. And it's really a fucking entertaining. Made me laugh a couple times, even on accident. I went, hey, that was funny shit. And the guy's so, done a, a few videos, so he's not just got, like, one video out there. He's perspective, like a, huh? Yeah, he's like a redneck authority on everything. Oh, so he's he knows things. Is he know it all, or is he like really I think got he's good the, with? No, I think the way he just talks about how he sees shit. You know, 
I try to look at people that do that to everybody should do that in my opinion is tell me how they see things because I don't always see what they see well let me uh let me pose this to you if mm. uh if you were to say what uh, catfish might say hmm. on the matter of gates gates yeah like uh, a gate or a defense what do you think you'd have to say about a gate or a defense no idea that that's too yeah. bizarre of a question a gate i think a water gate and black gate and cedar gate and <laughs> clinton gate Richard Nixon gate, all that kind of shit. But <laughs> I'm laughing at Moosey. <laughs> what's Moosey doing? Not for murder, Vincent recall. Moosey is a suspect. Are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Are they talking about this uh, girl that got murdered? You know who she is? Yeah, no, I don't. The, <clears throat> yeah, the illegal immigrant did it. Well, it's... Uh, I've been reading all that shit for years, but yeah, an, another one. Here we go. Hey, here's one to consider. What if, what if transpermia was somehow incredibly true that one day aliens showed up and we tried to say, hold on, you're an illegal alien. And they says, we seeded life. Wow, you're smoking the good shit tonight, uh, Sport. Think about it. I don't want to. That's way <laughs> too confusing. I've got a very black and white, simpleton kind of thinking process. And aliens and tubas both uh -huh. together just don't cut it. Hey, uh, I, I, who's this? Aunt Zio. Is that anti-I? Aunt, oh, anti. yeah, that would probably be anti says he's listening in. Hey, anti. Uh, hello. Grinner and says hey, aunt, so it would probably be. <clears throat> aunt oh. slaps. Whoa. Slaps somebody with a large he's, mouth bass. He slapped himself, I think. Anyway, so what, do we have anything intelligent going on here, or are we just garbaging about nothing? No, we're, we're talking about this, right? I don't know what this is. This this idea of perception and the official story. So where does it fit? Why would there even be, let's get on, you know, we've, we've, uh, we'll skip the grammar and we'll, uh, so let's go into the logic onto the rhetoric where our rhetoric is, there is a, uh, uh, an official story and that covers many aspects, but why is these, uh, uh, stories, why, why do they come about and, uh, who is the author and, why is there no origin? Why is it even occurring? Right? Like global warming? Well, that's uh, that's a pretty deep thing there. All right. Global cooling. I went through both uh, of them. You want to explain no, no, no. how yeah, in one lifetime it could be global cooling in this part of my life. And then later <laughs> on in my life, they go, well, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> we were wrong. <laughs> well, if you're wrong the first time, then chances are you're still fucking wrong. Or what if you uh, if you just want to tell the story, be the uh, you know in charge of how the story ends? So when you look at the telling of a story, uh, a lot of times you don't want to you you want to go to the end and see how how it ends, and uh, knowing how it's played out, you can you can guess that. So we see uh, evidence and trails and trials of corruption that uh, show that there's somebody and a lot of somebodies that are moving things along in a particular direction. So that's why we get an official story, right? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. <clears throat> but otherwise, you would, you would hear something and then have to make up the details on your own. So that doesn't make sense. But just the, the lies and deceit that they work with and still come, come out on top beating us with the the Federal Reserve Bank. <laughs> you know, shit like that. Admiralty Trick. Court. Yeah, well, it, magic, right? I, so I say, I think this whole thing's a fucking illusion, and then the status tell me I live in La La Land. Well, so you'd say an illusion is like smoke and mirrors? Illusion? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, well, to me, it's not real. 
The only thing real is what I can physically encounter. And I've never really had too much to do with any government. So, hmm, it's a story to me. Well, I've, uh, uh, like, let's say, for instance, Las Vegas, Cindy Lake, uh, she's running for council there. <clears throat> Vocal Local, you know, how it talks about William Roberts. Um, back in the day, he's now passed on, but uh, engaging locally. Uh, we've got elections going here uh, come November, Sheriff. Uh, is it going to be the hometown good old boy that, uh, you know, the guy, uh, a friend of mine that I've worked well, worked with, Punch Cows and Built Fence. Uh, Eric Kuntz, he's, uh, he's kind of the favorite of uh, some. He's more of the city local type. Uh, I've built with him before. I get oh, back hold on. I, we, we got the Antio name, A-N-T-G-I-O. It's Anthony, and we we thought it was an, anti, and it wasn't. So oh, well, hello, say, Anthony. Hey, yeah, hey, Anthony. We were we thought we were playing with an old friend. Sorry about that. Okay, continue, sir. Hmm. It was on my mind because I saw it on my screen. But perception, it, it's personal, Vinny. We we can both me and you look at the same fucking thing, and. We won't see the exact result. It'll be different. Something about it will be the way we see it. Our, well, our, you know, it's singular. Our perceptions are what guided by our our desires. What what leads us? And um, you know, you can go from your base instinct uh, on beyond that. You know, your you know food and shelter and that sort of thing, and onto the to, to the toys after that. After you uh, you know are fulfilled uh, with all those initial needs. Uh, and you go to toys, and after you get your, uh, you know, a tent put up, then you uh, you build a garage over that, and then mm -hmm. attach a house, and you know, I mean, uh, yeah. going on and on to, to drive and desire. And how's the uh, how's our economy set up? Um, you don't have to live now and pay later. Mm. Uh, ever escalating, uh, uh, you know, price of things. Uh, they're actually the devaluation of the dollar. Things cost the same. It's just that the uh, Federal Reserve note is not able to uh, uh, maintain itself without incurring incredible uh, reissuing of more in loans, and and uh, the the interest required to pay that back is you know even non-existent. Hmm. Well, how do you feel about crime <clears throat> being a way to pay for this shit? You know, That's... the fuel the greedy, so they got another way to make money and whatnot. <laughs> That's kind of the way it works. Well, that's what it's become in America. It's not so much everywhere else. Well, I think it is everywhere else. People are just more conditioned elsewhere not to uh, uh, go outside the box. They stay inside the lines, right? Well, maybe it's because of a less violent-based society would be easier to survive. You know, where people aren't, they're not actively out there trying to do anything except exist you know whatever the guidelines are do their trading go home or why does the uh, the violence exist why is the the violence uh, the violent society overcrowding and second rate electricity and fuel yeah engineered scarcity yeah it does right. just in time delivery and um pretty much and then when we talk about it the the voters thinks we're we're delusional because, you know, if you can afford to drive a car and live in a house, then you can afford this and afford that. But if you can't afford those things, voting isn't so important. But yeah, the poor people probably vote less. Those people don't give a flying fuck who's in power. Come on, think about it. Why would they? But they get blamed for voting Democrat so they could live in tents doesn't make any sense to me it sounds like more you know official story bullshit i look at a result and go okay and then they try to tell me and this is how that happened and when the two don't balance somebody fucking lied so what the what is the lie the explanation about how it happened or what you're seeing and if you can't figure out there's a difference there then you go along with the official story and tra la 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 get through 
it's a lot harder to fight this thing and to be outside than it is to go along with it. Can you see what uh, Judge Dredd has uh, posted? Oh, no. I block. But I can't. I, I get kind of. You should unblock nah, him. Nah, I'm not going to bother. You're him. missed he, so he much. Does, he doesn't. Nah, he doesn't impress me. Yeah. I, Look, you know nah. what he said? No. Okay, here's what something you, that will say. This will impress you. Hmm. He says he, he'll bet that uh, that girl Molly's picture will be used uh, on some build the wall campaign. <laughs> Wouldn't you say that? That wouldn't be a problem. I I'm most likely. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> you know, because they, they never going to stop people from doing what people want to do. Tell you that. Do you, uh, you can build walls. You can put up electric fences. You, know, you can do all that shit, and still people are going to do what they're going to do. So what about walls? Why, why is uh, there so much support, do you think, for a wall here? Um, when others would say, you know, hey, tear down that China wall over because, there. You know, yeah. we don't want no walls like a Berlin wall and a China wall. And, because uh, we're conditioned by the surroundings we're in, I think. And I got walls here. I got walls in the room I'm in. I got walls to the outside of the house. I got fences. So those are basically walls, you know, to protect and contain and and at some point, you don't really understand that they're talking about an 1,800 fucking mile long wall that <laughs> it would cost more to get shit to build it. You got to put a road in to build it to bring the shit in. <laughs> it's it's a non and never ending clusterfuck is what it is. Long live the wall. There's plenty of things they could do with that kind of money. That would be more important, but they're not going to do that because this will fuel a few rich people, <laughs> you know. And then the the labor force gets a few crumbs and the, maybe a, a a labor union or two, some politicians. But most of the most of that money is just going to get gobbled <coughs> up by rich fuckers. They'll open air ours, prisons, right? The, Oh, speaking of open air prison, the prisoners in 17 states are either did or are going on strike against the labor, the slave labor. Yeah. Yeah, 13 cents an hour to do a fucking job. I mean, just that's, ridiculous. Hannibal. Hey, that's pretty good, man. That's like, uh, used to be like six cents, wasn't it? So that's... I have no idea. I've never spent time in prison, so what... All I know is what people have told me. I'm not letting you out. I'm on the radio, you mutt. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, my dog's come down to pester me. But, no, she came down for a drink. <laughs> How's my doggy? Anyway. So. What I was thought, we talking about, China? When I say well, China? Well, what we're talking <laughs> about is basically is, is you get told one story and it's, similar to what's going on but it's not really true it always it always blames the wrong person in the end of that story you always get led to chasing a ghost if enough p people believe it it has to be true no that would huh? be no because enough people believe that uh, some towel heads in the middle east took the twin towers down and that's not what happened come on no, I'm not coming anywhere. Get off me, mister. But that's the official story was some some uh, magician in a in a in a cave in the fucking desert did it. And we okay. all know better than that. Let me do a little search here. How uh how much does it cost for let's say a 7 747 to do what? And, yeah, let's see what the price of a 747 is. Oh, to is. buy one. Yeah. Okay, why? You're going to buy a 747? Okay. Are you and Goober going to go fly a plane into a building? Yeah. I don't think this price is right. 32000 I think that's... No, that's something else. Here, here we go. Okay, the first uh, 747... Uh, was put into service in 1970 
and uh, sold at a list price of twenty-four million dollars. Mm -hmm. That would be one hundred and forty-seven point one in today's Federal Reserve notes. Whew. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still it's it's all done on promissory notes and credit, anyways. So who cares what it costs? All right, let's go on twenty-four million. Well, I just want to see which is cheaper. Um, there is, there's no such thing of, as cheaper. The interest rates kill all that. Hold on. Let's just look this up. Let's go to cost of a cruise missile. So we had... How much did we say on that one? Oh, wow. This is... Uh, what a deal. $1.4 million for a cruise missile. That's for Raytheon's Tomahawk. I hauled some Raytheon stuff... Uh, out of over by Dallas, over to, to Tucson. That's uh, some of my you are uh, a, a weapons monger, huh? Yeah, yeah I uh, I also one of my highest paying jobs. Ah, oh. yeah. Well, see, that's the sad part about this shit is, is the best money is in the worst shit. So, either you okay. come to a time where you settle <laughs> for less, or you get a greedy bone and you go chase the dollar. <laughs> There you have it. And you can see, there's what freedom is, is the, the, to choose to not do that. But if you hold the paper, people just assume you're um, responsible to do shit that you didn't ever agree with, but the paper says you should. <laughs> so that's the way I see that. How do you see it? I think you shouldn't kill people. I do my best. Yeah, I I concur. The only there is a lesson there, I think, too, Grimmer. The only shotgun I've handled <laughs> in the last over thirty years would have been with a joint involved in it. <laughs> <laughs> I love shotgun. Outside of that, uh, no, I quit playing with weapons when I was in my <clears throat> 20, early twenties. <clears throat> I grew Just, up hunting as a kid. No, we weren't hunters. We lived in the city. It's different. I used to shoot inside the city, too. No, I didn't shoot inside the city. That would have been lame. I lived in L.A. when there, well, you could drive 10 miles and, and hit country that hadn't been developed yet. You know, there's not a lot of that. I, I would compare Vegas uh, from the 70s on. Yeah, yeah. Where there was, was like, like yeah. desert everywhere, you know? Yeah, and then yeah. there was a little part of town. Go yeah. away, Wasper. Now it's all connected, enclosed, and protected, and surveyed, and watched. And, uh, yeah, there, there's very little land, open land spaces in Vegas left. Well, you know, that, They've taken all the fun out of living, Vinny, I'm telling you. That's why I, that's why I settled down out here with Cirque in the country like we did. It's, yeah, I'm, uh, a, I'm way in the country. I don't, well, I don't yeah. have any problems. I don't have to yeah. worry about, you know. Uh, Nothing. Yeah. Not very, very much. Uh, and, yeah, you know, maybe a neighbor or something that gets a bug up their butt, but you could talk it out. And the you cops could sweet talk them with I, your I Vinny bullshit. Yeah. You know, there are people that, you know, are, are like everybody else out here. Really? Yeah. For the uh, most, then there is the indoctrination of the, uh, the policy, of course. Like what policy? The policy of uh, not being, uh, you know, peacemakers, but, you know, there is at times. But it doesn't happen out here. It's like you see in the city and stuff. Uh, yeah, see, it's the overcrowding and the shitty food makes people behave even worse. So uh, I did this one uh, video of not showing ID to a state trooper. <clears throat> it's got, wow, I don't know, 80-something uh, thousand views. And, uh, you know, because people like that controversy. But, you know, I'm filming this cop from behind him. You know, the uh, some chatters back at UCY say, like, wow, I can't believe that cop didn't kill you and stuff. And But I'm all behind him filming him and stuff. And, you know, he's not worried a bit. <clears throat> Out here in the country, right? Right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm behind him as he's searching inside the truck. Hey, there's an assault text. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. 
Oh, I've got cough, 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 cough. And shoot. Stop moving there. Got it. Well, Moose Girl says you live in town. No, well, it's about uh, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minute walk to, from the house we we live in to the downtown where I go do business, <laughs> take the shots. Like the little, where the little canal's at, that's about 20 minutes from the house. And it's really quiet and lay back. So like, you're like a mile walk? Yeah, give or take. Yeah. I, well, because I don't, I just meander. I'm old now. I don't, I don't hurry for shit. So if you're younger, you could probably do it a little quicker. Probably cut two or three minutes off it. <laughs> yeah. But you get mm. to an age where it doesn't matter where you're going because it'll be there when you arrive. That's a pretty cool assault rifle there. Uh, I mean, a, uh, assault uh, how did you do that? I copied and pasted it from Anthony. Oh, 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 oh. So what's the deal with uh, real? World Truth that they had a new an old wait a new old new World Truth came up, it was up for a couple of days. Now it's gone. Yeah, I think Grimner's got a got it as uh, um, real liberty uh, social network. Uh, so Grimner's gonna grab it. That's um, okay. pop it in there, Grim and. Uh, is it ready to sign up or what? Oh yeah, no problem, Moose. <laughs> it just—it's hard to explain life to people on a radio program. And bye, bye, hens. It's—I've uh, got pictures that will, you know, back up what I say. I guess. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Uh. Gary Johnson has been all over the radio here. He is running for Senate as the LP candidate. Whatever. They're all crooks. They're all going to skin you in the end. It's the game that's filthy. So doesn't matter who plays it. You know, think about it. If you, hey. if you go into it to help shit, then they get rid of you the quickest. And if you're in there to fuck it up and keep the game going then they'll keep you in there forever. Like Diane Feinstein. <laughs> Diane fucking Feinstein. Good God. That woman was, is, um, wow, a politician. Hey, Vinny, do me a favor. Hey. Tell them how, how you uh, invented electricity so I can let my dog go take a crap. All right. <laughs> Take She's, a little walk. Yeah, she. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay. Oh, I could have. Uh, well, not enough time. Bring Anthony in. Well, maybe we can. Uh, we can do that, Anthony. Uh, on your Skype when Flash gets back and add you into uh, this call right here. And let's talk about this. Uh, the new site, RealLiberty.org. Uh, just activated the server. Thank you, Grimner. It's doing it. Okay, still have to do all the setup. And Grimner's the peanut gallery. <laughs> excited, excited. Okay. Well, I'm be interested in seeing that. And uh, let's let's hope we can keep this one uh, going. And uh, I, I guess uh, Freedoms Network is going to continue also. Uh, is that correct, Grimner? Let's go over. I'll pop that open right here. <clears throat> See if I can get in. I haven't been over to uh, Freedoms Network in a while. And uh, getting it back uh, together here on my end. In the computer here. Oh, this thing's a dinosaur. And so slow, so slow. Uh, this week I'm working on the uh, the log it, graze it, or watch it burn campaign. And all these wildfires out west and, and the science behind it and some of the uh, social manipulation and uh, how a couple of weeks ago here and the week before that touched on it as well. 
talking about that. So that's in my study and a bunch of stuff from uh, Range Reporter, at Range Reporter. That's a free range report on Twitter. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, place to be. So, yeah, look at here. I've uh, come right into Freedoms. No, I don't. It says I must log in. Really? I ain't logged in. Yeah, everything kind of got kicked on my computer, not being on it for so long, I guess. My other one died altogether. Derpity derp. So, here, uh, why ain't I in? Hey. Hey. Ah, thanks, Vinny. My dog decided to give me a interesting night. <laughs> Uh, fun, fun. Well, uh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. There's the login. Hey, the yeah, most... I'm over here at Freedom's Network. What's going on now? Oh, trying to get in over here. It's going to make me log in. Mm. Hopefully it remembers me. Because mm. I'm pretty sure I don't. I have my master list. But I have to okay, go back and you're, to that. and you're trying to get into Freedom's Network for what? Uh, going over and take a looky look. Oh, Let's I thought they were sh shutting it down. No, we're, it's going to stay going. Uh, oh, okay. So what's getting... Uh, oh, don't remember me. Nothing. I can't figure all this out. You, It's well. too complicated for my simple little brain. Hey, Chuck O'Chelly's online on Skype. Hey, hey, he's probably doing a show. Yeah, he must be. Does five nights a week uh -huh. at right? five o'clock? I think my yeah. time. Yeah. I freak. I uh, these time zones. I can't deal with it. It's too much. There's a uh, there's Anthony over here on Freedoms the Network posting. Uh, <clears throat> so I did get signed in. I'm not sure which one it is. It's Vince. So yeah, I got a mini RLM over there too. I think. I've got two accounts, but there's the one I turn up in. Ah. Not like a turnip truck. Hey, and there's Grimner's posted over there in the state. Uh, I mean, say, uh, site, <laughs> uh, site wide. Say that. Mm. Site wide shout box. Site wide. Site wide. Site wide. Sounds like you got a list. Sight how wide. how wide are you, sir? Light, are are wide. you extremely wide or just kind of wide? Hmm. Outside. Anyway, so what are you going to do with your life now that you're uh, not running around like a madman trying to get re uh, <clears throat> reports? I'd be cold up for the winter and um, work on what I've got. And I've still got some more projects going. I've got the... Uh, uh, the Bundyville podcast from uh, Oregon Public Broadcasting and Longreach with uh, Leah Satilli and um, Ryan Haas. They were in the trial out there in Vegas and uh, did uh, uh, what they might call a, an investigative report. Uh, it gets uh, mainstream media gives it uh, reviews. It's I think it's getting an award or something or is nominated. Uh, it, it's obviously biased and uh, you know they've. Mainstream's only really called them out on um, trying to give uh, humanization in uh, a character of humanization of uh, Clive and Bundy as a, a grandfatherly figure. Uh, and that was her attempt at only uh, 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 trying to make herself appear to be non-biased, like she could look at it all objectively, and when in fact she, they set out with an agenda uh, they started at the end to tell their story and then backed it up and uh, just to make sure that they, they could, uh, you know, be in control of the way the story ends. Yeah, well, see, I know what you mean. Of course, I, I don't know. Not because I'm closer to the story than anybody else. Just think because I know you a little bit. You know what I mean? So that I understand how you tell a story. I think it gives a person an advantage on a stranger. <clears throat> so I'm popping over here to uh, Twitter, and as it cycles over here, I'm going to go uh, so I can read that properly. <clears throat> it's my mm. pinned, pinned tweet over here, so you, 
think I'd probably know it by heart. But are you <laughs> as still it turns at, out. You're still at Twitter. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I, you that's where it? I to, uh, yeah I make my engagement there. You Post like my it? Record. Yeah, but you uh -huh. like it and all that. You know that. You know why I don't like it? <laughs> why? Well, I read that uh, 50 million people um, use it to read what Trump says. <laughs> And well, uh, hold on. that's enough. No, that that's a lot of dummies. <laughs> I'll pass on all that shit. No, thank you. Yeah, I, I my stuff gets flooded with Trump stuff, and I don't see yeah, follow I, because that's the way. Well, I, I'll more, tell you why. Yeah, and here's more, my uh, here's my pin tweet. History is hard to know because of all the paid propagandists. And that's uh, a hashtag, and then the the paid, and then uh, uh, capitalized PR and propagandist, right? PR, that's what propaganda is. Edward Bernays, thank you. So, but history is hard to know because of all the paid propagandists. Maybe they just wanted to be in control of the way the story ends. And uh, that's that's what I say to, to Leah and, and Ryan, to Oregon Public Broadcasting and Long Reads about Bundyville, uh, pot, the, the Bundyville podcast. And uh, so, reallibertymedia.com forward slash slash slash, slash uh, author forward slash uh, Vine or Vinny. And so, I'm up to uh, the followers and I uh, got some more to do. And uh, <clears throat> that, that really gave me a hold up there. There's uh, when I think about the people I, I know that I've met out there and people that I met and got to know during the trial. I'm talking about a, a lot of people and um, the overall, oh, I would say, you know, like a 99% of, uh, of those people there were uh, good and honest. Um, there's what's going on now is called the poot wars and uh, uh, people I know are, are fighting back and forth over a, a word like patriot and others calling one fake, fake triot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And Jeff, Jeanette Finnicum, after the uh, uh, FBI agent that uh, is, took shots that, and then said he didn't, he did. she uh, she weighed in on about the trial and the jury and uh, and onto the poot wars and uh, you know it, it's senseless the blue ISIS all this and that. Um, but she yeah, said about you're, the jury. You're you're forced to pick a side in those kind kind of deals. I'm, I'm not because. Uh, well, if, of course you are. You got the side that lied, and you got the side that's telling the truth. Well, is it always that that simple? Yeah. I don't know if it is. Why truth is sub truth is subjective. Uh, okay. Well, that too, but it's a matter of how willing you are to live in the paper world. Matter of perspective, right? No, it's a matter of how willing you are to participate in the paper world that we live in. You know, the paper world of cards and accounting and keeping track of and who you are and where you're from and where you're going. You know, the thought police. I'm good at accounting. Yeah, but see, where all the real stealing gets done is, is on such a big level it can't be policed. Because the people that do those kind of crimes own the police. Well, see, we see how the machine, this mechanical beast, operates. You know, it's it's uh, a self perpetual. I mean, the, it's gone to where these gears are turning, and there's so much perpetual motion there. If it, if anybody just tries to quit or get out or uh, clog it up, uh, they get ground right on up, spit mm -hmm. out. Yeah, it's too big to slow down and stop. Right. So, what's going to end up with the, of all this fun and games? Well, putting a little molasses in the uh, lubricating oil, I guess, right? Yeah, but you're out in the country, right? So, I would say from the way you're talking, the folks in the city got a big surprise yeehaw coming. Like what? Well, look at how... Uh, they're sitting ducks for so much shit. And there's so many fucking things that they're getting lied to and hustled about. Inoculations. 
I mean, where do you fucking start? Food, Wi-Fi, uh, GMOs, the mail, <laughs> all the all the twenty-eight. How many <laughs> genders are there now? Twenty-eight or something? Really? I, I started what out. You... There was two. Now here I am, gonna have a birthday next month, right? And they're trying to tell me that there's twenty six more genders came along since I showed up. Let, let me ask you a, a personal question. Mm. Well, how, how do you identify your uh, front hole? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. That's my wife's parts, buster. <laughs> and, you know, possession is all a matter of perspective <laughs> any damn way. Are you sure? Positive of sure fuck. I don't any more own a, a a bit of dirt than I do my wife. It's it's a shared illusion and an agreement, you know. It's, <coughs> real. it's only as real as I want it to be. You uh, you can have it as long as you hold on to it, right? <coughs> is that sure, possession? Yeah. Is that having it? I, I it. Is that how you define possession, or do you define it by what the law allows you to have? <laughs> See, the, there's there's uh, more than one way to look at that. Hey, is Bra listening? Who? Meister Bra. Want to talk about? I me. doubt it. No. Hey, Meister Bra, go get a beer. Vinny wants to talk shit about you. <laughs> he says I think it's time for that shower outside <laughs> it's been some fun chat tonight I've been reading keeping on the RLM chat and getting a giggle out of the crowd and then Barman just posted me and you doing this crazy dork table fucking shit yeah I just typed that in so what, that, did, what, what, yeah. did Woody, what did Woody do that you want to talk shit about him about I just want to ask him um, mm. about being a closet liberal. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think he's so much a closet liberal as he is disgusted with the people that represent liberal. They're not what they're claiming to be. I, you know, I see how I see things, right? Right. Yeah. Are you with me or are you well you're going to yeah. see it in your light and I see it like he's like hey these people are boneheads <clears throat> well I see it like this uh, I got a whole bunch of bags of uh, these old sunflower seeds mm -hmm. and that was what I'm doing and I, I've given two packets out so far but I'll uh, space them out I just wanted to see how they liked them but if you're yeah, feeding the squirrels now, and, I'll keep them squirrels around here, as I always have, and never eat them, have my little family here. They act like they remembered me, matter of fact. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, Animals, when I came back. Yeah. You know, Probably your scent. Yeah. They're not afraid of me or nothing. And like, wow. They just, like, run around. I had one, like, yeah. five feet yeah. away from my face, just there in the side of the, the tree looking at me. Like, hey, what's oh. up, man? This guy's chasing me, all right? But I'm going to stay real still. So act like you don't see me, okay? <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, okay. The hard life out in the country, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, hard times, you know, fella, after he's hunted out the out sections and have to work himself back in, you know, maybe, uh, well, you know what I did out in, uh, I mean, you know what somebody did out in, uh, Arizona was, uh, they shot this rabbit through the ear with a pellet gun. So they can mark them. And it went straight through both sides, both ears, right through. Uh, because there were so many, uh, the cottontails had to thin the population, but wanted to, you know, keep certain ones that were come up and less tame and, I mean, more tame and uh, more, uh, I guess, uh, allowing you into their presence. They had coyotes and all that stuff up there. It was pretty, pretty nice place up there in White Hills. But anyway, so... Uh, yeah, you, you want to have a few for stock, right? And others Me? to put in. Yeah, and others to put in stock. Like with I dumplings. Don't. I'm not my, gonna, I'm not farming anything, not if human you, or animal. If you come here, I'll cook you a squirrel. Oh, yeah. Well, the chances of that happening are pretty slim. Yeah, but this is a world of ifs. 
I, I know that. I once upon a time I would have never believed I was gonna come here. See there? So, and here well, right. So that's why I'm not arguing the point. I'm just saying Don't I you wouldn't, are me, boy. I, <laughs> well, no, I'm just going with the odds and the odds say I'll probably be here. You say, Well, I say that's an awful deep subject. <laughs> you're so funny. You're making, I, I'm you're, not funny. You're, yes, you are, Vincent. We we need we need to talk about. You. You're very funny. <laughs> you're the you're a funny fucking guy. Anyway, so Ooh. let's see. I'm gonna read the chat and see what they're talking about. Grimner's getting pounded by who? Uh, Lightning. Yeah. Oh. Popping uh, your circuit yeah. breakers. Whoa, He's in shit. a mountain time zone. Yeah, but that's not a good storm to be in the middle of. Uh, that uh, man, I was getting pounded here the other day. Yeah. Bad, bad. Yeah, it ouch, uh, ouch. knocked. Yeah, knocked the power out for sixty people out here in this part of the world for wow. a few hours. That was uh, Sunday. Yeah, well, how was on? It hit right at the top of the. Uh, uh, as the second hour came, a bam, mm. and uh, yeah, it felt like it was just like uh, within a hundred yards where it hit. It knocked the uh, power out of here on the mountain and hereabouts. Doesn't anything good happen to anybody? Sometimes. Mm. Like what? What's something good that's happened to you lately, Mister Vincent? I got a new home. Oh yeah, how's that going on? I saw a lot of chitter chatter about that a w yeah. while ago, and yeah, I don't pay much attention to the chat. Yeah. It has, anyway, it's got a pop out, so it's bigger, you know, than my other one. It's a, pop out. I, yeah, it had mold in it when I came back, and so I didn't. Uh, this name, name, name. You had some repair work to do. Oh, uh, I yeah, the roof leaked, and but I covered it but as gone so long it uh it got tore up ouch well that's not good was it raided by vandals or animals or both nothing nothing was raided just the just the tarp up the top yeah the wind and the rain and mm. must have had a big storm because uh yeah it tore it loose but the See, plastic only lasted so long in the uh it was light biz queen see and and you know it makes me kind of laugh People think they can tame the weather. <laughs> They're doing and, a pretty good and, job of uh, manipulating it. Well, that's not taming any fucking thing. Anybody sure. can anybody can feed a bear. Come on, well, you don't you don't need an instruction. Wait a minute, let me finish my little right. thing. Anybody can feed a bear, but only the survivors did it right. <laughs> what survivors? Oh, okay. If you feed a bear, I don't know. I've well, never had the I've make, never had the pleasure of meeting a wild bear. I did so, in Sequoia. Yeah, but how do you know? Just because you see cartoons on TV, how do you? I I ran across an elk when I was about eighteen, and uh, I saw the thing off about maybe twenty feet, twenty five feet. But the friend I was with didn't see it and when she did see it she panicked and scared the poor animal and it almost you know <laughs> fell down trying to get footing to run away <laughs> it wasn't prepared to run i had a friend of mine back in texas many years ago he got pulled over one night and had a gun in the back seat long gun oh, no, no, he no. he's a felon and uh but he is a talker boy i'll tell you what he's a talker old james and uh, that cop, he says, well, you got that gun for you. you ain't a poaching, are you? And he says, uh, he says, oh, I was just uh, hunting some uh, deers and bears. He said, deers and bears? He said, yeah, deer, <laughs> deer faces and bear asses, he said. <laughs> he laughed. You know, you always hear that one. If you tell the cop a good enough joke, they let you go. Yeah. The, he let them go. Yeah. He let them go. <laughs> lucky, lucky. I was doing the 420 for a little early because I I feel sorry for people that that don't. Well, I should. Uh, that that was my sincerity hit. The oh, wow. pre 420, I feel bad for you guys that don't hit. 
Grinder says I'm I don't funny know, looking. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, that's what everybody says, though. So. Thank you. Uh, at least they're consistent. Yeah, thank you kindly. Well, when, when they start saying about talking about how brilliant you are, panic. <laughs> Somebody's probably going to do you harm. <laughs> uh, here's to you, Pilgrim. Hey, you made any enemies on the internet yet, or in or in the world, real world of internet? Yeah, I'm. I'm not really considered too big a threat, but uh, I don't think. Uh, but definitely, uh, those that are uh, uh, working uh, for the other side, the opposition, or the. Uh, well, you know, there's a real strong war going out here. It's uh, in the West, that is. It, uh, it's really not being seen by a lot. So there's a lot of uh, powers behind uh, both sides, uh, and I find that very interesting. But, you know, there's people that, uh, for whether for their self, for their own ideology, or as uh, accused by some of uh, these government trolls and plants to uh, manipulate and steer uh, the, uh, the information, uh, but I, I engage with those people purposely uh, on Twitter, and uh, we're, uh, used to. I haven't been over there in a while, but the uh, the fogbo dot com, and that's full of uh, the cops, the you know FBI, and um, the prosecution. Uh, um, I, I ain't no telling who all's there. I know the uh, the prosecutor up in Denver, uh, Kim Doucette, She uh, she told me that uh, he had popped in there and made a comment and then deleted it per, rather quickly that uh, uh, realizing like, oh, shit. Uh, and that's where Robert Shapiro, uh, real robber ship up there. You may remember my encounter with uh, with that uh, round up there in Denver when uh, Brand Thornton and I went up there. Me personally? Yeah, do you? Remember I... when I went to Denver? Oh, yeah. Vaguely. You know Details, something else I did? But I remember that you were supposed to have a meeting with somebody and they, they squashed your meeting. Which one was that? that? Was that Denver? <laughs> I don't see. You're asking me to remember your life. Hey, man, I got my own life to remember. Oh. <laughs> Thank well, you me, very much. Yeah. Hey, in celebration of uh, <clears throat> 420. You go to your files somewhere. or your, maybe your mind palace like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Why don't you go to your mind palace like Sherlock Holmes does and go find the answer? <laughs> it's blowing in the wind. <laughs> That's Zimmerman. Come on. Be be original, Vincent. All right, I'm loading. I'm ready. Uh -oh. okay. Celebration of two minutes somewhere. to go. Yeah, two <clears throat> minutes. This damn time change. I have three minutes. I mean, uh, climate change, I mean. Just, yeah, is I that what causes that? Yeah, climate change. The difference in our one minute off between it the It couldn't possibly be because time is man made like everything else. Oh, come on. Time well, is you, part you, of reality. See, there is no such thing as reality. That's a crock of shit. Isn't awesome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Your no, reality so is in no way, shape, or form my reality. I, I refuse that. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't survive twenty-four hours of your reality. Okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm well. gonna tell a four twenty story, <laughs> and then at four twenty we're gonna light up, and then after twenty you're gonna tell a four twenty story. Okay. <clears throat> but they're all boring because it's just smoking pot. Well, okay. Well, I'll tell my story anyways. Okay. Okay. And it's almost time. When I was in Denver. I there it, I didn't even see them at first, but there was these dispensaries everywhere, and like yeah, they were all around the courthouse. There were like three or four right there within a few blocks. So, anyways, I went to a dispensary, and for fourteen dollars, I got two grams of some of the best weed you'll ever smoke. Uh, and what I did on the way back to the car. I walked in, and there was the happened to be the very same uh, deputy that was inside the courtroom where I was at, and uh, so I, out of my bag I pull a bag and I say, "Hey, uh, you, you think it'd be okay if I uh, carry my cannabis inside the courtroom?" 
<laughs> he says, uh, uh, maybe you better put it inside your car. They might take it. But you know why I said that? Why I asked that to him? No. How could so, I know? So that I could tell this story right now that I asked the cop if I could carry cannabis inside the courtroom. How you like oh, that? I don't know. I'm not really big on courtrooms. Well, I went in on purpose. Well, right. That's the difference between me and you. I don't I, enjoy playing that horseshit game. You like it. I got their attention. It's 420. Salute. Yeah, but getting their attention is not my idea of having a good time. They're yeah. They're all against all the good shit in life. Uh, uh, yeah, Robert Shapiro threatened me with uh, having me charged with uh, threatening or, or, I mean, harassing a uh, public official. Tried to use his position of power to threaten me. Hell, I just, well, how could I threaten you, Mr. Vincent? I would probably have to resort to something like not bothering because I couldn't do it. Yeah, but he has the uh, position of authority to do so. Hey, I could always do that. I could uh, make a position of authority and then do it. So political prisoners. Hey, I hey, should start you, making You could be my political text. prisoner. <laughs> Why would you become a political prisoner? Because <clears throat> of, uh, of your vast knowledge of uh, how the BLM operates. No, that's not true because of speaking out. They want to silence people where they can yeah, I well, you stay. That's why I'm always willing to talk to you too. So you're always out there, you know. And you're pretty. You're in a good place. You're not in some stupid city where there's a bunch of yo-yos acting like <laughs> dummies. And that's what I see. You know, the bigger the population, the more ridiculous things are. Don't be do it ridiculous. But they are. Absolutely. It's like that uh, Bugs Bunny cartoon where the, with the buzzards. <laughs> Mama buzzards got the little four. <laughs> yeah, the and goes three out. of them take off, and the last one, he ain't going anywhere. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, and she kicks him out, and he comes <laughs> back. Yeah, but at the end, he comes back with a fucking dinosaur. Oh, what about before that? Oh, at the beginning, he comes back with... Uh, a bumblebee. Yeah. home a baby. Bumblebee. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> that's, that's pretty <coughs> close to a bee. But yeah, he's bringing the bumblebee, and then the bee stings the buzzard, and <laughs> and then he's fight. He's fighting the head of the of the dinosaur. And he's weighing it up, and he's taller than the head, so he thinks he can do it. <laughs> yeah, shorty. But he brings the damn thing back, you know. <laughs> because that's what buzzards do. And, you know, I, I think I know a buzzard. There's a buzzard roost over the next, uh, well, if you go in any direction here, drop off the holler two sides here. But so, if uh, uh, going to the west, you drop off down there, there's a Big buzzard roost that's been down there for a long time. Many, many buzzards in it. But they, uh, I got a big tree, a dead tree over here by me that uh, I like to perch up in sometimes three or five or one at a time. Do they ever kill their, do they ever kill their food or do they only eat dead? Well, this is the, uh, the native buzzard. Now, there are here in Arkansas the Mexican buzzards. They're smaller and a little grayer. As opposed to this uh, buzzard that's uh, black colored, black, uh, and and they are invasive, and they will they will kill like a newborn calf, as if really? as a mama cow's cabin. Yeah, they'll uh, they'll kill it. Wow, kill it, okay. and eat it. Sure I didn't enough. know that. I I always thought buzzards were scavenger birds. Right. Yeah. There's a shoot on side, uh, just like feral hogs. You know, the wild hey, hogs out here shoot them on sight, no season. You're big on history crap, right, Mr. Vast Knowledge of American History? Okay. Mm. Now, the, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. I have a couple of questions before I tell you what I read. Now, the uh, American bald eagle is a scavenger bird. 
is true this... or false? Uh, it's both. It's, just, it's okay. Just all right. All right. All right. The turkey is a brilliant bird. Very, very smart. Incredibly smart. Uh, okay. It, okay. Some of the most alert senses that um, that there are. Okay. Now I read that Ben Franklin, I think the guy with the little round glasses, wanted the not the bald eagle, but the turkey to be the the bird of the of the USA. Right. Correct. But but the beauty part won out. You know, the better looking one won beside how it lives and what it is. So you ended up getting represented by a you know like a catfish, a cat, the catfish of the air. <laughs> <clears throat> well, the catfish, you know, they'll they'll hunt and kill and uh, eat live bait as well, especially like they're, the, the blue channel. They're pretty. Yeah, hey, I seen a girl. I seen a girl noodling <clears throat> on fucking YouTube. About cracked me the hell up. And heard, you saw her noodle? Is that a front hole? She I saw a saying, yu- Don't don't give me grief. <clears throat> I saw a girl noodling. Not, usually, it's the guys that go out and noodle. You know what noodling is? Yeah. Catfish. I saw see a little girl doing it. And went holy shit! She's all proud of herself too. It's a nice big catfish, but the point is, is that the eagle, just like the catfish, these creatures. Let me tell you a story. Why do you, do you have a, a goose. do you have a do you do you have a thing about symbols? No. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to tell me a story about an eagle and a goose? Yeah, right here the river uh, runs around this mountain here that I live on. It comes around in, a, in an arc around it like a half moon. That's what it's called, half moon mountain right here. Ah, half moon mountain. So I could okay. hit the river in three directions from where I'm at here, right? Hit it with what? Oh, on foot. The, gonna, on a dark yeah. night with just a big lighter to flick mm-hmm. for uh, illumination. Whoa! Well, you're all, you're like the MacGyver of the outdoor world. <laughs> uh, I'm out. <laughs> so, anyways, you're out there, all right, buddy of mine. And yeah. one day, he's telling me a story. He's sitting he's down there on the river, and it's real foggy, and he hears this uh, commotion of a bunch of honking honk, oh, honk, honk, if coming down, and wasn't uh, too much visibility. And all of a sudden, here come a big old goose, just. Maybe about 10, 15 foot above the river, just flapping his wings for all his worth coming down. And, and then all of a sudden, right in behind it, here come an eagle. And he's closing in on him. And right as they went out back into the fog and lost visibility, uh, and he was about to hit him. So I suspect the eagle caught him a goose for dinner that day. Uh, hey, you know what else I read about American history that I, I can't prove or disprove? What? I read that uh, German was this was uh, the second language in, in list in the list of Americans' main language. What it was going to be when they were deciding in the beginning? No way. It's what I read. Where? Can't remember. I've read a lot of I've read a lot of opinions of shit. That's why I'm so against um, education. Because you get to an age where, fuck, how how do you possibly remember every fucking thing you ever read and who wrote it and what? <laughs> it's not that simple anymore. Well, let's just do a, a search on that. But see, yeah, but you have the internet. But the internet, of course, depending on where you are and your pattern of, of input is going to bring you a certain kind of answer. <clears throat> the That's... computer's... The computers are designed to answer your question appropriately to your personality traits. I found it. Yeah, what did you find? It's right there. I put it in chat. I don't know. I'm not opening anything in chat. What do well, you think look I'm at it. Can you read it? Can I read what? <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Vincent Recall. I forgot who you were. Can't remember.com. <laughs> yeah, there, that there place. Go. I live yeah. there. That's <laughs> That's my home address. Would you believe that that actually is not even a, a registered site? I don't know. Do you know that Cirque says I have Ozzyheimer's? Oh, I don't even know what that is. 
Is it German Alzheimer's? I just said I'm too or high I, to get. I'm too high to give a shit. Or is it Australian or Austrian or? No, Ozzy. You know, Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> oh, that guy. Ozzy Ibers, yeah. So I'm too high to give a shit. So must have Ozzy Ibers. Yeah, he sounds like he's got like a half swallowed mouthful of peanut butter, and he's like, I'm not even gonna talk. Oh no, that's the Downers, yeah. probably. Because if you watch him live, he's very clear and articulate. And when you see him on that fucking, uh, he was on that TV. What the hell kind of a uh, cable show for a while anyway it was horrible but he was always mumbling because he was loaded out of his shorts <laughs> and that was the shit that was fit for tv <laughs> can imagine what he was like the rest of the time so you ever watch that show that his wife is on by herself no it's like with some other Women? With him, yeah. With, no. no. W with Ozzy and the kids, it was... No, it's uh, the... Uh, no, the something view, on... I think. This is years ago. Where the hell did I... I don't <laughs> even remember where I lived at the time. Might have been North Carolina. So, wow, I've been out this way for seven. <laughs> it's been a long time. I'm getting old, Vincent. Stop it. Sure. Hey, you remember what uh, Ozzy's wife's name is? Sharon! Sharon Osborne. Yeah course well, I, I like my rock and roll idols you know i don't have a m memory for like historical shit but some of the music the people that came along with it impressed me and what about that that uh judas priest no idea you don't know who they are Grim, well i mean grinder plates on last friday yeah you you've mentioned Second that song, already yeah you <laughs> and the third song even worse. Still in a ride groove about it. Wow. Uh, I'm you... on your side of whatever you do to get it back. <laughs> what are you drinking there? You're drinking hey, tea or coffee? What do you got? No, I, I, my pipe. I was... Oh, you're just tinking your pipe. Eh, I was cleaning out. My... Doing a scrape of the dead carcass remains in my pipe. The first song was great. It. Here we go. Mm -hmm. We did this last time. <laughs> Stop it. Stop doing reruns on a fresh show, you butt nugget. No. He, Grimner, this is how I think d doing radio with hands would be like. Hey, why did you do that? You know hands. I don't know hands. But, well, let's just assume that you know hands better than <laughs> I do. Right? For, for the next five seconds, ten seconds. Do an impression of hands. I know nothing. I see nothing. <laughs> that <was> oh, strudel. <laughs> okay. Strudel. Wow. Oh, okay. How was that? Yeah. Well, I don't know. But Cirque has a... Not a living memory of World War II, but people bring it up. And, of course, her family, you know, there's members in the family that are old enough that know what happened. Blah, 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 blah. And it's <laughs> it's way different than what people say. My mom, uh, she was a little girl. She was born in 38, so during the war. And uh, yeah. she hated Germans and uh, Japanese. Of course, probably American. Yeah. I don't. I wonder how old I was when they taught me how to hate my first enemy. Well, you know, that was all there. They had the uh, uh, the newsreels and that sort of thing, you know, and the big old paid propagandists, right? Right. Well, I grew up in the Vietnam era when it, that's. That was the center of me, you know, growing past 10. Center? 10 years old. It was the Vietnam War. And then it didn't end for quite a while. Well, they finally stopped it in 74, <clears throat> 75 maybe. But it was horrible. 
So, well, I grew up with this war in my life, and here I am still, if I participate, there's still America at war still. So, hmm. it's to me just another business. Business is business, after all. Well, when you when you think of the excuses they gave you for the crap that they do, they don't really work out. Do you work out? Nope. Have you lost weight? Nope. I'm trying to gain weight. I ain't going to lose any weight. I think I was just telling Cirque earlier. I was looking to put on another five pounds for the winter because it's going to be cold. If you was faster than me, would you wait? No. My friend Dan, y'all know Dan, Dan, Tennessee. We uh we hiked a bunch of th different sections out in uh, Tennessee and North Carolina on the Appalachian Trail, and uh, man, he just phew, he was gone. I said, I'll see you when I get there. Gone. Mm -hmm. He had one speed. One speed. Yeah. From A to B. Wow. Ha. How how impressive. I uh. Well, see, cause I. I give these things thought now because I walk, right? And it occurs to me as somebody that walks, hey, if if you're in a big hurry in your car, I can just stop and let you go by. <laughs> How novel, you know? What an imposition. <laughs> <clears throat> so you walk in the road and then just like get out of the way? <clears throat> I don't, yeah, if I was in somebody's way, I just, move I don't see the any reason to obstruct the flow you know if there's a flow we know what it is you know just being human so being a clot in the vein is kind of stupid at this point like I you know I could go to the city and and protest against shit like Manure hauling and stuff like that. Porta potties. I don't know. The Danes are. I, I try to avoid the big cities because the cities are all violent, no matter where you go. Yeah. But fifty pound country, bags of steer manure. Yeah, but in the country out here, things are very mellow. You know, and there's a certain amount of people that got guns, and there's a certain amount of people that don't. Hey, there's Goober, Gooberzilla. Hey, Gooberzilla. Yeah, pop. spaceships are us. Yeah, he's going to escape the world. And I don't, I don't want to... You know, I may not agree with the way that things are operated or the people that do the operating, but to give up on an entire planet because the story is hard to argue with. And, and I can prove that real quick. Which story? Any story. Any story that the popular it, um, group goes with, if you go against it, you got, you're got you creating a problem. So you could take either side? <laughs> I don't want to take either side. I think everybody's wrong. I don't believe what I hear anymore. Nothing? Not to the point of take an action on it no nothing nothing except maybe out of Cirque and the rest of it's just entertainment you know I get to hear about where you live and you got your you know hollers and your trees and you're working on your house and all that kind of shit yeah. but I gotta but understand you're the, this one yeah but you're I already the one got doing material it. I just gotta go get it it's not far through the woods though and everybody is doing their own version of whatever you're doing. It's right. just not the same as what you're doing. Exactly. Trying to live and get through another day and go into the For next For the one. most Be part, happy. Yeah. You know, have the things yeah. you need. And then there's some want, people that, that take the authority thing <laughs> too serious. Think they can't live without it. Are you listening to and the most people that would claim to be that way are the least violent people in the group, like Grimm and 
Rob. And how I mean Lee's violent is they don't go around attacking anyone. They, but don't fuck with them. But that's not the same thing. you know. Defense is not aggression. What about beating a dead horse? Oh, we all do that. That's what the dead horse is for. <clears throat> Learn states. to use the tools you were given. Come on, man. I don't think Hawk's listening. Oh, I pro probably not, but that's okay. He gets all crazy about his <clears throat> aircraft and aliens. I, I, uh, what? I like that uh, that handle. His handle? No, the one that uh, that Frumpy gave me today. Yeah, hashtag that. Oh, the hand of Vincent. Oh, did Vinced I misspell it? I misspelled it. Recall. Yeah. Vince Stand Real Recall. I, I did it wrong. Yeah. Vincent. There. With a T U. Yeah, that's it. Vince Stand Recall. Eh, hey, clever. Frumpy gets the uh, name of the week award from the dork table. Hey! hey. Maybe oh, I forgot Tuesday, the hashtag. Every, every Tuesday night, we will do the dork table name of the week. There's good. And, He's listening. And if you win that, hey, you know what? Let's do something for mankind. Okay. Let's raffle hands off and give the money to a charity. <laughs> you know, he'd have to agree to that. You know, like the... Uh, Why? Hey, wait a minute. They used to if, do those raffles if, back in the old days, you know. Hey, they got... Now, I if suffer. I can have a birth certificate, we should have a right to raffle hands off behind his back. Well, just they fine. did me i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna pass on my american side wants to express itself <laughs> there's hawk yeah hawk's a hey he's what's a, up yeah he's a personal friend of mine oh he's listening mm -hmm. no i know that i wanted hey, to say hi to him some of the some of the closest people i've ever been to you know been around had problems with me at times but we got over it you get along with yourself? Oh, yeah. You know who I like the most? You. Me. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's important. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Boy, if I don't take care of me, Cirque ain't going to be happy. So, yep. There you go. What about UFOs? They're in, they're in the food. Yeah. Are you eating UFOs in your Cheerios? Light pollen. Little, yeah, little tiny aliens. Little tiny spaceships the size of Cheerios. And you're eating them. <laughs> it's like Soylent Green, only different. Hey, you ready for Soylent Green? Yeah. Really? What do you think it's going to taste like? Chicken? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <clears throat> Friend of mine here across the field uh, killed a 12-button rattlesnake. Good, uh, uh, three plus foot long out there in the yard. His dog was uh, barking at it. his kids out in the yard and everything. Little boy, he's like three. Mm. You know, he chopped his head off with a, or smashed it yeah. with a hoe. Yeah, something. Hey, is that a red wash? They're still poisonous after they're dead. Too. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Don't know yeah. how to handle shit like that. Both oh, though. Woody. I hope Woody did his research on the internet and knows not to handle that shit. You know? Because people grow up with, like, crap on TV where they, they cut the wound and suck the, the poison out and spit it out. <laughs> well, that, well, let me let me include you. <laughs> that wouldn't work. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. It'd be in your mouth. <laughs> you spit it out. It's different Fuck between lacking and loving. The fuck! It's already in your fucking mouth. And you're done. Oh, no. a little a little poison don't hurt you. Like you know, I, ate, I eat a poison plant no. out here. It's uh, horse nettle, and I eat poison ivy. Little little poison don't hurt you. If you get bit by a rattlesnake, uh, the next time you get bit, you're you're not near as uh, going to have the near the reaction. Some people are able to get bit by a rattlesnake and going about it like it's a bee sting. <laughs> Okay, Vinny. I'm sorry, but I just, I don't, I don't see that cutting the the wound and sucking the poison out thing working out too well for anybody. 
Well, you heard the old joke about what the doctors say. You ain't going to make it hard. You're going to die. Gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I know that joke. That's the way. Yeah, that's the ending I heard. Was, <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> <clears throat> so, wow, what are friends for, huh? Hey. Uh, so whenever somebody, if if any ever says, <laughs> you're going to die, he's just telling the punchline to a joke. Hashtag. You're going to die. <laughs> Never mind, I heard the whole joke, I guess. Anyway, so what other things do we have going on in RLM dork land? Mm, well, it's been a pretty, I don't know, they've been murdering people and uh, what else? Yeah, did you read Just, anything about that lady? I didn't read nothing about it. No. I don't, uh, I don't follow the news. There's, yeah, there's, see, there's so much of that yeah. everywhere. And it, yeah, well, see, they're all doing it. <laughs> Unindating you in every day. Problems, 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 problems. Nah. You live in the desert. Well, I lived in L.A. and Las Vegas. Yeah, so, but in, you know, in decent conditions to, you, to do so. Did you work at Chippendales? No. no. I was, I was like <laughs> 11 or 12 when I was there the first time. So, no, I didn't work for anybody at that point. I was visiting an, an aunt. Not uh, not Anthony. No, not my Aunt Anthony. Are you insane? Hey, here's one for you. You know the, the town south of Sa uh, San Diego in, in Mexico there in the Baja de California? Mm. You know the name of that town? Right there across, across the border from... Uh, TJ. Yeah. How, what, what do you call the name of that city? TJ. No, what's the full name? Oh, Tijuana. No. Yes, Tijuana. Tijuana. Yeah. yeah. You, I've been Tijuana. to Tijuana. You anyway, know what? What about it? Oh, yeah. Most people say Tijuana. No way. So, Tijuana, you know what Tijuana means. Well... No, I don't. But I don't know. Now I got Goober saying I've never lived. I, yeah, I did live in the fucking desert. I lived in Vegas and I lived in L.A. And that L.A. is a fucking desert. They just put water in it. I was in California <laughs> for the Whittier Downs. I rode that one out in the doorway. Uh. Anyway, well, I'm just saying it's in the in the summer times. It was as hot as any desert. L.A. We would see hundred degree days in the months of july <laughs> so yeah pretty sunny cool. beaches and then like fourth of july it'd be really freaking hot all day in the 90s but at night it would drop down into the 40s to get them blasts from the santa anas i don't know what the cause of it is but the the difference in temperature you know and especially you, you need a no coat in the day but you need it at night in the you know year round it was like when I lived in San Francisco, there was no time of year I didn't need a coat. Man, I got up on the 4th of July in uh, San Francisco one morning, got out of my truck in shorts, and it was like, what? what? It was cold. It was cold. Uh, I was right on the bay, a, These old, this you, old uh, dockyard there, marshalling you yard. out the hard way. Yeah. We was marching. You, you're, now you're going to, well, okay. Hey, Chloe. Now we're going to hear shorts. Chloe's here. Hey, she hears a Vinny. Say something. Say something else to her. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, the big I city that's still in the fucking desert. I did. You still got to survive that shit. It's yeah. not like you don't live in it. I uh, I lived in a tent here this uh, this year in the in the desert this last winter. I seen it snow up in the mountains around me. I'm beautiful. Just love it. On the uh, Virgin River, 40 days. That's 39, but hey, 11 and then 28. Perfect cycle, seemed like. Wasn't planned. The numbers fell as they did. Yeah, well, when me and my little brother were about 10 or 11, I guess, or I was 11, uh, my dad got us these training things that went out into the hard desert like death valley 
for two or three days. Might have been two, but it could have been, th I don't know, two nights and three days, something like that. And we learned how to survive out in the fucking middle of nowhere on absolutely nothing to f learn how to do it. But we never needed to know, you know, we never needed to use it. We just were inspired by Pop to learn how. And as I've gotten older, the, I've never really needed much of what I learned through that. <laughs> I ain't silly. Yeah, you are. Well, living indoors makes it kind of pointless to know how to use a fire, you know, make a fire. I'm an expert. Well, I'm not an expert, but I can do it. It's funny that because I'm from, it's so obvious that I, I was, I'm a city dweller to people from the country that when they first meet me, they're even surprised I know how to build a fire. <laughs> hey, Woody. Woody just showed up at the end here. Oh, yeah, maybe Woody can, uh, Woody can do another show. Tell and him. Get it. I am telling him do right it. now. Do it now. He, he said, Dorcas says, I am doing it. You do mean, it. You're always do it. bullying me around. Do it. I'm doing it, you big bully. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I think well, I that Mr. I think Mr. Woody should start getting comfortable with the radio and keep us informed on his uh, progress in his venture. And it's the, you know, it's the new way to do it anyway. Might as well document it. There you go. Give what? Oh, wait. I don't know. The chat and the, and the radio are at two different times, so it's hard to keep track of what question fits what fucking comment I made. <laughs> Look this at Woody. Fun. Vinny, what did we do? Are we making friends and influencing people? I, I was just listening to something that on uh, YouTube earlier, a TED Talk. Yeah. About, yeah, talking where people listen. Hmm. What do you do? Me? Hmm. Talk. <laughs> Chloe, ignore Woodman. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a command? Oh, no, she was making a joke, yeah. I think. Oh, come on. They're probably better friends than me and you are. <laughs> what? That's because Woody's a, a closet liberal. <laughs> I I don't think he's even a closet. I've never seen him praise Trump. Let's see. Are you the intolerant one, or are you the one that blindly accepts that discrimination of some sorts is acceptable, but denounces discrimination and racism? Question mark. Well, that's a deep question, isn't it? I don't even <laughs> understand it. Well, just calling the the pot's calling the kettle black. You know, when you, when you, it's something's okay when you do it, but it ain't okay when other people do it. <laughs> that sort of idea. It's okay for me to say something, but it don't, like, remember Jose? <laughs> yeah, of course. Jose, my good friend. Wait, but Jose, Jose, could ba Jose could bash me. Because I, I wasn't as Mexican as him. <laughs> Shut up, pinche gringo. I ain't the way. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> I gotta admit. I just kind of sat here shaking my head, <laughs> playing um, gummy drops on the computer to kill the time. Because there was no way I was going to say anything that was going to get heard. <laughs> 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 he he definitely controlled everything. It was fun. I got I really appreciated that. Who else beside Jose has ever given us any real nobody really, huh? We gotta get hands on here. He won't do it. I tried and tried. Poor hands. He won't even call me on a private phone line. Really? Yeah. 
Maybe he talks with a lisp. <laughs> <laughs> German, a German lisp. He speaks a perfect <laughs> English as in England. English he speaks. And, and his grandmother in German. Right. I don't know. I'm you're, just playing along. Grimner said you're a liberal. I don't know. My wife says I, I I lean towards the conservative side on, on some issues, and on other issues I'm as liberal as Liberace. <laughs> but do you it, sing? It, it, do you play no. the piano? No, do you dress but, in drag? <laughs> not, liberal? Uh, what? How so? It was a joke, you butt nugget. Yeah, but it landed in your lap. But. Well, like on smoking, I'm very fucking liberal on drugs. Right where on your drugs. front hole is, buddy. Ha ha ha! Wait a minute. <laughs> but I'm very liberal on on drugs because I believe drugs are man made, not pot. Pot is not something you produce on purpose. What about it's heroin? A plant. No, that's a drug. Not Get because of the plant. plant, but it's be yeah. But you got to... <laughs> Okay, well, hold now, on. Stop. How you, about, you have you ever done a dab that. or smoked hash? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but what about the dabs? They're called the dabs now where they extract the THC with the propane gas. And, and I, don't do, I don't do that kind of goofy 12-year-old shit. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like a goo. Like, uh, I'm an old well, man, though. Right. I, I, don't, I don't play all these impressive... Uh, I do the better stuff than you do games. Okay, so I'm, you, I'm happy I'm, with no, what I so I'm just giving a demonstration of uh, a refinement of the plant. So what if you want to see me? Right, a refinement right? of the plant. That's what I mean. You don't you don't even need to do that with pot. You don't need to refine anything. What are you doing for large quantities of certain things? That's why. Wait, wait, wait. Large quantities. Say that's where all that other bullshit starts getting. If it's just me by myself, I don't need large quantities. What if you were treating cancer and you did? What if you were treating epilepsy and you did? What if you were treating... What do you epilepsy? consider... Okay, and what do you consider a large quantity then? It's like where you concentrate it down and take, uh, you know, like um, pea-sized doses of... Uh, drop-sized uh, doses of uh, uh, concentrated uh, cannabis oil reduction. And how, and how many plants... Does it take to get what you're talking about using? Many. How many? Many is a vague word. Well, what are you well, a fucking lawyer? <laughs> many. <laughs> many. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not asking it. Depends I'm not on how big pay the taxes. plant what it puts out. I mean, that's a varying factor. Uh, Did yeah. we start late? Do you, you remember? Yeah, we started five minutes later. So, so you, All right, you, you want it? Okay. Yeah, we're running on. Uh, oh, okay. You can. Uh, what was I going to say about the, the dosing anyways? Yeah, yeah. sometimes you need more. Oh, I want to answer Grim's <laughs> question. He What's says, this? are you saying if you don't praise Trump, you're a liberal? <gasps> oh, I thought he was calling you a liberal. And I'm saying, what I'm saying is, um, on some stands, I'm conservative. Like, um, boy, I got a real problem with, uh, misrepresenting, you know, lying and, and be, being things that you're not to take advantage of shit for personal gain. So, hmm. Now, I'm not all about killing anyone either, so I think murder kind of is obvious. But stealing and deception, not it's not uh, anything I care to in, be involved in <laughs> at any level. You know, but we're born and bred in it, and we learn how to do it. So not doing it's very difficult. You know, there's some need killing, and there's others that ain't worth killing. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Damn, Benny, that was funny. <laughs> Just slap right out of nowhere made me laugh thinking about. It. Okay, what a perspective. I mean, I suppose. Ain't I uh, put a picture of his girlfriend up? 
Looks like <laughs> looks like she's a musician. <laughs> okay, Rob works. One pound of cannabis will yield two to three ounces of oil, according to Rick. Okay, whoever Rick is. But Rick that Simpson. Gives you a Okay, well, that gives you a, na a, a name and a number to, to start with, right? But it only takes four months to for a, a plant to from seed to, to maturity. Yeah, they got these uh, auto flowering seeds that uh, they grow okay. real small, well, three months. All right. Uh, but now, normally, if you're growing outside, you can only control how long it takes if you're growing indoors and control your okay. environment and lighting. But when you're talking about pot you're you're also you're using a plant that you can grow in almost any damn where it doesn't you know it doesn't need to have a certain environment there's place just it grows natural in enough places well now a hemp plant now and a, a high quality uh, cannabis uh, plant for uh, high other quality recreational cannabis uses, uh, that's uh, that's a whole different animal now trying to grow it you just don't Throw them seeds out generally, and they pop up and grow some nice uh, product. Or, you know, no, or, what or, I'm or saying plant, is, I mean, that is, these plants grow naturally where they're supposed to grow. Okay, but if you're doing something on a small enough scale, it doesn't matter where you're at. You can grow enough to supply yourself with what you needed. Yeah, absolutely. And there's no reason all why this. one shouldn't be able to do so. Right, because of all this fucking society shit we made has got everybody dependent on this shit that's crap for us. It's hard. It's the opposite of what we need. I think I'm going to build some... Uh, well, I, I say that, but you know I don't never know what I'd do until I've done it. But, uh, some no, I know that. Tires yeah. and fill them full of pot and soil and grow some good food. Ground up here isn't this isn't in farmland, you know, on top of the mountain. You got dirt and you know the dirt's uh, sandier clay a, and uh it's a rocky weed. People, and, people make so much out of this fucking shit. It's a fucking weed. Some of the best shit I ever had was it was given to me in Nebraska and the guy said it grows wild along the river. This this is what we got last year. You can't get high off of it. You can smoke a bushel basket. Oh yeah, no, it was very, oh, it was very good. Really? Very, very good. Yeah, we got it in Nebraska and, and still had stuff left in New York. Hmm. I had and some in Nebraska every day that was growing in the ditch and it didn't, uh, it didn't do nothing. But it we looked and smelled great. Right? out of that bag every day until we and we made it all the way to New York smoking it through New Jersey and <laughs> it was fun the good old days when we hitchhiked and got into crazy shit hemp weed and horse shit will do it in Nebraska hemp weed and horse shit hmm. what was that secret code is that that redneck secret code shit no, that's uh, some of the cigarettes you get uh, Indians that smoke over on the reservation. Well, that's what this guy told me anyways when I was in Nebraska. I crossed this bridge over into Iowa, over to the reservation, and uh, yeah. the old boy working the bridge said, where y'all are going? And said to the reservation for cigarettes. And he said, I ain't got nothing but hemp weed and horse shit. Yeah, well, all, all the, the point I was trying to make about the amount of weed is... I think because we're so overcrowded, we, we're not, and legally bound the way we are, we're not even, we wouldn't even consider growing enough hemp and cannabis that we need to survive on. But we, we're not taught that we need it to survive in the first place. But if we were, we'd have a different outlook on the whole thing. But... I think we just get lied to from the the first thing they tell you is you're free. <laughs> and then it gets worse. <laughs> uh, Grimner said he'd rather have that pound of weed. Mm. Chloe says me too. A pound would last me forever. I don't even oh, know uh, it, what I was right about. <laughs> what was I right uh, about? 
I don't know, weed, something about weed, but she says a pound of weed would last her forever. Not me. And I would say, no, nah, me me either. I don't unless you're not planning to live very long. Yeah. But 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 because her day is different than ours, we could smoke a lot more than she could. Sure. Well, that see to some people that having the job thing is a luxury. You know, like Cirque loves her job and she goes and spends time with her sister. They, they're tight as ticks. It's weird, you know, for me to see people that are get along that well. Cool. Spend so damn much time together, too. I mean, you, you think, wow, because uh, art society was different. The one I grew up in wasn't about being tight like that. Well, you know what time it is? Tight time and... Time to shut time, her down, looks like. Time uh, to go to bed and yeah. call it a night. Smoke them if you got them. I do. I try that very much. Okay, dokey. Anyway, I don't think Mary's going to be back for Saturday. You doing a dark table with me? Yeah, I'll probably. All right, then I'll catch you on Saturday. And in the meantime, what we have coming up tomorrow night is... <laughs> Go ahead. You, you, you oh, I thought you was going to do it. I was going to do the background music. No, because you do the time and all that better than me. Okay, well, uh, tomorrow tomorrow's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Grammy's yeah. along at 6, right? <laughs> That's what I mean. You know the times and all that better yeah. than me. Because yeah. when she comes on, I'm in bed. Yeah. 6 o'clock, her time is uh, like 1 in the morning here. So... No, I pass. All right. Well, come on along for the Freaker Friday, then. Uh, I'm That's supposed to be back on radio at noon central right here on reallibertymedia.com. Uh, it's rlmradio.xyz. And, uh, How often? Follow? Pardon? Hello? How often at noon central? Just Fridays or what? Hi, guys. Just the Friday or any other day? Well, I haven't been on in a while, as you might know. Yeah, I I know you didn't have a computer for a little bit. So well, I had a computer. I didn't have the uh, internet. Internet. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, I was, I was busy getting a new home. You know, put up, and put in place. And... Yeah, you were being a beaver. That's right. So Friday, Freaker Friday, Grammy's back at six. Uh, I'm not giving you a central time zone here where I'm at. So at an hour, one p.m. Yeah, Ponder Gander, 7 p.m. Uh, at Grammy's Rocket Chair, and uh, what is it? Four hours later, 11 uh, p.m. It is either balls to the walls or the Freakers Ball, y'all. Hey, maybe we could pressure Woody into doing something on Thursday night. I don't use pressure. Yeah, we'll threaten him with a good time. I only use pressure to. Uh, Pop out a splinter or something like that. Uh, hey, how much money do you think we'll raise raffling <coughs> pencil off? Nothing. Wow. Ouch. That's not much. Yeah. Would no. you Would you mm. buy Sergeant Schultz? <laughs> how much? You ask. The answer is nothing. We will give nothing for Hansel. Nothing. <laughs> Oh, that's just okay. <laughs> I I didn't expect that. Damn. Okay, Vinny. <laughs> hey. So anyway, this has been another dork table <laughs> fiasco at uh, RLM Real Liberty Media dot com with me, <laughs> Flash, and uh, you, Vincent Recall. <laughs> See, it's, it's the Hungarian <laughs> Vincent Recall. It, it, yeah, third cousin. Yeah, we couldn't get the original Vincent Recall. He was busy today. See, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>